My name is Caroline Lucas. The book is called Honourable Friends, with a question mark, uh, Parliament and the Fight for Change. And really that subtitle sums up what the book's about. It's about my shock at arriving at Westminster and seeing just how dysfunctional Parliament is. And really, I think, in a sense, the book was written out of a, a really strong sense of anger. When you see close up just the way in which you kind of imagine from the outside that people are there doing their very best to create the best legislation that they can. You might not agree with it, but you kind of assume that, that the process is something that's rigorous. Um, what you see close up is that nothing could be further than the truth. Um, you see uh, committees that are full of yes people who never actually challenge the legislation. Uh, you see people having absolutely not a clue what they're voting on. A and you come to the conclusion, really, that our so-called mother of all parliaments is, is, is really pretty dysfunctional. So the book is about what needs to change if we're to have a parliament that we can be proud of again, and if we can have at least some hope of getting some of the policies out of that parliament that we so desperately need, given the social and environmental crises that we face. It's not a manifesto. I mean, I think it's important to say that what it is is very much a, a snapshot of the last five years. So it's, it's about my experiences in Parliament. Uh, it's looking at some of the key bits of legislation that were going through in the last Parliament. So it looks a lot at Ian Duncan Smith's austerity agenda. It looks at some of the efforts I've made on things like bringing in new policies around drugs reform. Um, so in that way, it's, it's, it's quite sort of eclectic in, in, in a sense. There is some personal reflection in there, but it's not a typical political memoir in that sense. I think it is, uh, although it draws a lot from, from my experience, and my experience, I think, particularly as an outsider looking inside, you know, the first one of my party actually to, to be in Parliament and the kind of unique perspective that gives you. So, so there is a bit about my personal reflections on that and, and how I got to be in Parliament and a little bit about the, the impact of being in Parliament on, on, on my family. But most of it really is about this overwhelming sense about what do we need to do to make this institution fit for purpose. So, for example, uh, I spent quite a lot of time talking about my arrest, what that felt like when I had been peacefully protesting at the fracking site in, in Balkan. And there's quite a lot of you know, personal reflections there, what it felt like to have my son in front of my eyes being kind of pulled out by the police, you know, really being quite physically manhandled and, and, and in pain, which was a, a horrible thing to witness. But in a sense, the reason that that chapter is, is there and, and the reason that I go into quite a lot of what that felt like was because it is about the, the wider issue of, of taking action against something that I see as, as such a threat to us, which is a whole new fossil fuel industry and, and, and the way in which fracking is, is a real kind of spearhead for that. So, yeah, so, so when you look at that chapter on, on, on fracking, there's a lot about my, my feelings, but it's also the feelings that you have about how will the public take to the fact that their MP uh, has just got themselves arrested. You know, however much I feel that that was justified, I had no idea what my constituents were going to feel about that. So I, I felt it was really important to put some of those feelings in there, even though essentially the reason that the chapter is there is because I care deeply about the right to protest. I'm really worried that is under threat, uh, like never before really under, under this government and, and the end of the, the last one. And that's why I think it's so important to, to uphold peaceful protest as a, as a democratic right.